Hey guys, Moan Pobe here and today we're going to talk about what is the best business strategies you can use in your business right now and this is part two. Let's get to it. So hey, if you're new to this channel and you're watching this on YouTube or any other platform, my name is Moan Pobe and I've been involved in more than 10 seven-figure businesses over the last years and I'm here to share with you and document my journey, my mistakes, my lessons and I, I guess really expand on some of the big corporate companies out there and strategies that they're using that you can use in your small business as well. I'm talking about growing organically versus growing by acquisitions and many things like that that most people just don't talk about. I'm here to share with you uh, my journey and just document everything I'm doing so hopefully you will learn something from it. So if you're watching on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, hit the notification button so you won't miss new videos. Otherwise, yeah, comment below, let me know what you think. But yeah, let's, let's get to today's video. And also see in the description below, there's a link for you to join our free business mastermind if you want. Everyone is a business owner and sharing and basically sharing and, and, and helping each other in that mastermind. So that's a great place for you to definitely check out right now. So go and do that now and let's, let's get to today's video now. So many people ask me, Moan, what is the best strategy out there to grow my business? I want to get more clients. I want to use the, the best, latest strategies. Otherwise, I feel like I'm missing out. And again, having a strategy is very important, but I'm here to kind of like show you a different path or different perspective to look at business. And let's dive into what exactly I mean by that. So we talked a little bit about self-doubt in the last video and the fact that there's so many options out there, so many opportunities. And the fact that you're always looking for the next information, it's basically like trying to open, go to a store and open seven different puzzle boxes to eventually create one puzzle. It just go, it's not, it's not going to work. You're not going to get the full picture. And that's what people are doing. They're self-doubting themselves. And it's causing them a lot of mistakes because they don't find one place with one strategy to just follow that with the accountability, with the support. So that's kind of like what we expanded a little bit in the last video. Today I want to talk about another huge, I guess, frustration that I see with people. And again, they always think that they need the next strategy. But what I found out is that they are not lack, they're not lacking in their strategy. Again, it all comes down to their mindset and their internal beliefs that is actually reflecting their outside world. And that's why they think they need the best strategy. But what I found out is that most people, even when they have the strategy, they basically have what I call a, a, a problem with perfectionism, if that makes sense. So they always go out there and try to learn the best next thing or to always get ready to get ready, if that makes sense. So they always try to perfect their business plan or perfect their, their marketing strategies or the best to write the best ad or the best direct mail piece or their best sales script. And they're always getting ready to get ready instead of going and taking action and doing what is basically the most scary stuff that actually going to give them the fastest results. And that's a problem that I see with many, many entrepreneurs who are kind of like stuck between six to low seven figure businesses. They, they built a business, they're, they're able to sell their first kind of like, um, I guess, like I said, six or min, a small seven figure. And yes, they were able to sell those, those products or services, but they still hate kind of like a glass ceiling and perfectionism is one of the biggest problems I see out there. And people think that they're going to read another book or go to another seminar. They're basically lying to themselves that they're taking action. And you need to understand you're not taking action by reading another book or by going to another seminar or by perfecting your business plan. It's not working that way. You got to take action. You got to fail. And only when you fail, you can then adjust your plan of action to then go and hopefully fail again until you find something that works. Otherwise, it's going to be really hard to progress in business. And one of the reasons that people always go in cycles, literally behind or around what is most necessary is because they're afraid to fail. And I'm here to tell you that the most successful people that I've met in life, I'm talking billionaires level, they failed the most. They are okay with failing again and again and again because they're not taking things personally. They don't feel like it's basically hurting their self-esteem or who they are. They understand it's just business. It's just outside word actions and it's okay. It's okay to fail. And unless you understand that and you stop to take things personally, you won't be able to take the right action to eventually get to or above your glass ceiling right now in business. Now, remember, business is very simple. If you want to grow organically, it's about getting more leads, closing those leads and delivering a great product. Obviously, it's a very simple way, but that's business in the end of the day. And if you want to grow externally by acquisitions, it's very simple as well. It's finding those deals, 
uh, making offers on those deals and raising capital to close those deals. That's pretty much it. The, the fundamentals of business are, are that. That's pretty much all you need. It's about implementing those ideas and again, having the accountability and support to do them. So stop being a perfectionist, guys. Be okay with failing, be okay with taking action. Obviously, make sure you have the right support system around you and the accountability to make sure you're taking the right action. And if you want to explore growing by acquisitions and you want to grow like the big companies out there, basically that's how Facebook is growing by buying companies like Instagram or WhatsApp. That's how Amazon is growing by buying companies like Whole Foods. If you want to learn the strategies of growing by acquisitions and you can do that with your small business, even if you don't have much capital to work with, you don't need much because we can use the business assets as a leverage to buy themselves basically. So if you want to explore that, we can definitely help you. Me and my team were involved in more than 300 deals and we can have a call with you and figure out if growing by acquisitions is for you. If it is, we'll let you know how we can work with you. And if not, we're happy to, happy to send you to someone else who can help you in other ways. So if you want to check that, go to moanapobert.com forward slash talk. In my opinion, that's the, if, if you, it's simple guys. If you want to grow fast, really bring in a lot of revenues and potentially get your lifestyle back by buying a business with a potential manager who can take over your role, Plus, obviously, the profits that you can get from having access to hundreds of different clients and new services and products. And I'm not even talking about the great talent that you can have and the, the new distribution. It's all there if you want to grow by acquisitions. Again, if you want to explore that with us, go to moanpobert.com forward slash talk. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't be a perfectionist. Take action if it's by acquisitions or organically. Do whatever is necessary. That's the best strategy to just take action. Don't look for the next... Um, thing out there because business is simple guys and those who sell you the next strategy it's because they sell you that you need it but you don't really need it you have the fundamentals that's all you need uh, but if you need help with implementing those strategies externally by acquisitions we can help so yeah that's it for today guys see the links in the description below if you want to join our free business mastermind otherwise i hope you enjoyed it like subscribe comment and, and help we grow the channel I, I like to get the feedback from you and thank you for all the emails and all that uh, but yeah that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.